couldn't say. I couldn't say. Um, all right, now let me see here. I think. I mean, I would hope he would know by now. All right, now let me see here if this will work because I've never done this through Twitter. <laughs> Let's see. Hello. What's up, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can hear you. It works well, actually. I've never done a Twitter call. It works pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, am I live now? Am yes, I live? you're live. You're on the air live right now. Okay. Okay. Now, how you been? First off, it's been, uh, you know, many years since we spoke. How you been doing? It's, um, I've, I've had quite a, a few um, bad years, but some good years now. Are coming so well you know what i feel the same way about myself <laughs> <laughs> you know I, uh, I've, I've been in hospital though i had a lot of, I a lot of things production. going on with health but you know um, i'm is. back on my feet now and i've had so. a few bad years a couple bad years here and there a couple good ones and uh yeah i feel like it's it's on the upswing now myself so me, i completely me too. Uh, i completely understand that uh and i'll tweet out the link uh let's see uh, first off, introduce yourself for those who don't know who you are, although I think most do. Right, well, I, I'm King Mike, apparently, <laughs> according so, to everyone else. Um, I'm, I'm unfortunately Cog's brother. Um, I'm his older brother, um, who's had a lot of crap from Cog, basically. Uh, over music, it started off. It started off, I was doing music with him. I was making beats. And um, he got a little angry at me because... Um, I said that I would like a choice on whether I'm on the songs or not and not for him to decide that, you know? And he didn't like that. So um, he came round to my house and started trouble, started a fight with me. Um, can't fight to save his life, so he ended up on the floor with his glasses all over the place. Um, and I pretty much, like, I, I, I broke my finger moving him off my doorstep, basically. So... What happened is I was really angry about that, so I told my mom about it. I just said, look, mom, this is terrible what he's doing. And uh, she then went and told my other brother, Luke, <laughs> which is he's, he's an absolute idiot as well, because he just can't understand anything. He just decides to start fighting me for nothing. He come around to my house and punched me in the face uh, based on, this is a week after Johnny and his stupidity, um, he come around and punched me in the face uh, because he thought I'd upset my mum or I tried to upset my mum and I really didn't. So it was just uh, a lot of wires got crossed there. But um, yeah, after all Johnny's crap on the internet, I basically said something about what he did when he was um, in his 20s. He, uh, he literally had a relationship going on with this 14-year-old who he claims was 18 at the time. But uh, I only found out, like, right after they broke up when she told me uh, that she's 14, you know. And um, he denied it, you know, and said, oh, well, I didn't know. I thought she was 18. But it's the same guy who was on the phone with me the other, like, a few days before that telling me how good it was with her, you know, and stuff like that. So it's pretty disgusting, really, what he did. It's very dis um, very disgusting. And, and f before we get into that fully... Um so you're telling me you physically, and we talked about this before, you physically yep. removed Cog from your home. Now, this is the second day in a row we've heard a story about Cog being physically removed uh, <laughs> from from a home. So he was physically removed. Yeah, I had to basically grab him off my doorstep, basically, and, and even annoyed my neighbor who'd come out. He was like, what's going on? And uh, he was just, he was going crazy. So I had to get him down kind of like on the floor. And I was kind of saying to him, look, I'm in a high rise. I live in a high up building. So I say, look, if you carry on, we're going to end up over the edge. You better calm down, you know? So I calmed down the situation and try and just kind of just after he was scuffling around with me and I bust my finger, um, you know, he went on his way. But I, I didn't even know I'd hurt my finger till later, you know, because you don't feel it. And, um, yeah, yeah I noticed it later. And it was all swollen. I was like, oh man, no way I've mashed up my finger getting rid of this idiot. But yeah, he was just, you know, I don't understand him. He just can't handle no. He can't handle when someone says no to him. And I just said, no, I'm not I'm not having you take over my beats and then tell me when I can be on them and not. That's just ridiculous. It was such a petty thing, really, to fight over, in my opinion. 
Well, I thought he could he could have just stayed at home. You know, he didn't have to come to my house. Was what was the need in that? But like clout chasing, I guess. You know. Well, that's the type and, of thing he does, and you know, it all started our beef. Uh, all yeah. started b- because I said no to some debate that was supposed to be on Keemstar's channel, and then Keem didn't want to do it, and yeah. Cog picked it up, and he's like, okay, it's set up, let's do it on my show, and I said, well, no, I, I was only doing it because it was on Keemstar's show anyway, and, and he, Fair enough. he, and he, which is right, I didn't even want to do it in the first place, and then yeah. he started this. I mean, it's been four years now, right? Uh, it's, and you'd think he'd be over it, but he's not. No, uh, and not. what he did to you is disgusting from what I've seen. I mean, I didn't know about that because I've been out of this whole thing. I've not been bothering with it. And then um, Paul showed me the other day that he's gone to Portugal to attack you while you're on holiday. Which is just... Well, he didn't attack you. He sent one of his little friends, his little gay boyfriend, to attack you. So, a bit strange. That's correct. Do that. And I didn't realize you'd been that disconnected from all this. Now, why, why did you do that? Just to... Um, I just cut it off. I, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of him. I'm sick of this stupid. Or the, the, some of the people in the family who side with him, you know. So I just got sick of it. I was like, right, well, I, I just don't need this anymore. I just cut it all off. I'm just, you know, trying to get on my life. Yeah, and I see a super chat that says arrest him. Franco fifty three oh six uh, cent one dollars well, on Rumble. Should be arrested. Arrest for that. him. Um, but he should. Yeah, and, and I had no idea that you didn't even know about that. You know, a, a lot of people been wanting to get you back on, obviously, to yeah. talk about the 14-year-old. We'll talk about that some more here in a second. Um, but There's I, something else, though. Oh, um, today, even, even today, I've been getting strange messages from my, from my mother, but I don't believe it's from my mother. I think somebody has, you know, um, hacked her phone, and they're sending me strange messages, warning me not to come on this show, basically. Doesn't want to, she won't speak to me again if I come on this show, which I just don't believe because my mother would, would she'd call me. She'd ask me, what's up, you know? So it's a that's another little thing that happened today. So he's This morning, doing, I woke up to the, a big that message today. from apparently my mother, you know? But, so yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's insane uh, is what it is. Cogmailed uh, is what somebody said in chat. Um. Yeah, spoofing numbers. I mean, that is definitely possible. Um. I don't know if his Hindu hog knows how to do that or what. But uh, no idea. But it's strange because I, my mother wouldn't just send me a message like that, a big essay, and then just not say anything afterwards. I don't. It, it's it's so weird to me. So I'm like, he's basically using my mother to try and, you know, uh, guilt trip me into not coming on here and telling the truth because he knows. He knows that he's, he's been rumbled, you know? So, yeah, it's funny as fuck, really, when you think about it. Well, but it's and, disgusting as well at the same time because he's, he's trying to act like I lied. And that that's, that's half the reason why I left the whole thing. I was like, I'm sick of people calling me a liar because I'm not a liar. It's very difficult for me to lie. So when I say something like that, I hope people listen to me. But it's up to them, you know, what they want to decide. But clearly, you know, it, it shows constantly with his bad behavior that he he, uh, he can't admit fault he's very it's very hard for him to do that he's not uh, mature enough to you know see where he's gone wrong you know and actually say something but like I don't know I don't know what he does how he'd be able to get himself out of this you know because it's he's bang to rights everyone knows about it Everybody knows about it, uh, and the thing is, how often, you know, I didn't really get into this yesterday, but <clears throat> it seems like COG is really big on trying to um, manipulate uh, oh, yeah. the family and ostracize people, or try attempt to ostracize people out of the family. Uh, yeah, or, as, soon as, he, yeah as soon as he knew that I had a good relationship going on with my mother again, because I used to fall out with him, you know, but like I've recently got really good relationship going on with my mother. He's just not happy about that. He's right now trying to destroy that, clearly. If that was even my mother who sent me that message, I doubt it. But, you know, I've still got to be thinking, you know, what if he has got in my mum's head, you know, and, and manipulated her as well because she's a nice person. He typically it manipulates empathetic people, you know. He plays on that. It's really disgusting the way he does it. And he, yeah, he wants to, he likes to say that, um, what is it, we're, we're disowned, and it's like he couldn't be further from the truth. If anyone's disowned, it's him. 
<laughs> no one likes him in the family. I don't know anybody who actually likes him in the family, except my mother, of course. But she can't help it. She's a mom, you know. Well, right. So. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> yeah, you know, it's her son. So I mean, I understand that. Um, he's, but, just, he's a pathetic person. He is. It just he really is like a constant, uh, a constant um, thing from Cog. Um, and uh, okay, so, so we we had you on four years ago, and we talked about. Uh, the beats and we talked about you beating up cog and we talked we covered some of this stuff already but yeah. you put out a vocaroo i guess it was a year or two later um where you revealed the 14 year old uh situation and i played that on my show some people think yeah. that it was an interview that you did on my show but that's not actually the case i just got a hold of the recording and play my show, but yeah, go ahead. I'm sure there was a few other shows that people were bringing me on. I remember yeah. chatting on other things, so it might have been that. Yeah, it might have been. I'm not sure where it came from, but I played it on my show, and and you know, a lot of people credit it like where that's where they saw it, etc. So first yeah. off, um, what what was the history of of all that with the fort? Like, go into as much detail about that as possible. Well, he's been I, trying I had, to deny it for years. Uh, he he just popped up one day, and you know, and let me know he had a new girlfriend, basically. And I was like, okay, because um, we were all getting together for a family meet uh, meal. I remember, and he was like, oh, I'm I'm with this girl, and he's like, oh, can I bring her around uh, just before we go go out, basically? And I was like, yeah, yeah. So I thought she was 18. I didn't know any different. So he brought her around. Um, she sat in my living room with me, with him. And they were very, you know, very lovey-dovey. And I was thinking, uh, I just didn't think anything of it. I just thought, well, just a relationship. He must have just got a girlfriend, you know? Um, it's only like w much later, like a few months, about a month later or so, like when they finished their relationship, when Johnny and her broke up, that she messaged me on Facebook basically saying i'm 14 and i was like what the fuck you know and she's like oh you're all disgusting you know she was basically tying me in with him and i was like nah i don't fucking know i don't know i didn't even know how old you were i thought you were 18 that's what he told me but yeah and then she was just like oh and she just blocked us and fucked off and that was that was the end of her and I, that's the last i ever heard of her but i do remember we did go out as well we went out for a drink me and my oldest brother david um, we both went out for a drink with Johnny and his girl and we thought, you know, she was 18. As we get to the door to go in, um, she's like panicking because she ain't got any ID. And I'm like, why have you not got ID? I thought you were 18. She goes, oh, I'm actually 17, right? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and, and we kind of just, we just talked our way into the place because we all had ID. So we got in there, we all had a drink. And then um, after that, they all went home. But I, like I say, like about a month later, I got that message from her and I was just like, what the fuck? We went out with a 14-year-old because Johnny dragged her along? What a fucking weirdo. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the gist of it, really. Now, what do you think, what would possess him to, to do something like Like, we've seen a lot of creepy behavior. Desperation. He's De a desperate guy. He can't, uh, at the time, I don't think he was very good at getting any pussy, you know? So he just was going for anyone. But I know him. He'll go for vulnerable people, you know, the most vulnerable. He always does. Um, so I guess that's what it was. He probably just saw that she was vulnerable and probably homeless or something, <laughs> typically, you know. And uh, he's gone and gone and got with her. So Yeah, and I see. But it, went, it went on for a while. It wasn't just like a one-night thing. He was pretty much in a relationship with her. So, it was weird, basically, right? Basically, right? Yeah, like a full on. Uh, well, apparently, he didn't know how old she was at all. Like, how can you be in a relationship with someone and not know how old they are? You know, it's yeah, weird. I'm not buying that. <laughs> I don't. I don't buy it at all. Yeah, I'm not buying that. Uh, and and I see Dudley Dudla in chat says this match matches what Paul said about her family being upset about the drinking. He said her family was upset about the drinking. Yeah. Um, yeah. it, it does, it does match up, uh, with what Paul said yesterday, uh, about the whole situation. Now, when you came out, uh, and told this story, um, of course, you know, I, I put it out there and, and made a big deal about it cause I thought it was a big deal. And really? Cog has, has spent years, uh, <laughs> denying it and attacking you specifically when it first came out. Uh, he went on oh, an yeah. attack against you again. He attacked me immediately. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
and so defensive and like it's just so weird it's, and I I I know he he knows it's true because I know it's true and the thing that was really strange is when he started getting mad at me I could see it on his face he was just so annoyed that I'd ever told anybody you know and he thought he would brush it under the carpet he really thought it would go away and I'm glad it hasn't gone away because I really thought oh man no one believes me so I might as well just go you know I look like an idiot now and then he tried that he tried to make me look stupid but you know time has told and it's obvious he's a piece of shit I mean I'm not the first person he's messed with either over stuff and it's not the first person he's tried to, to you know tar their name with shit you know he likes to poison that's what Johnny does he poisons the well with everyone even my mother it's disgusting it's, but you know it really is disgusting uh, in every way possible um, he has this creepy again I don't know that you've been following Cog uh, too much um, no, I, don't, but... I don't pay attention to him he's an idiot <laughs> <laughs> I find that if you if you pay attention to idiots like that, you become them. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't even look at him. He makes me sick. Yeah, and that's so. understandable. Uh, and the only reason I've been giving him this much attention is because he's been fucking with me uh, for oh, years. Oh, I understand. Uh, and he's, he's been violent towards you. That is right. insane. It's insane, especially when you're on holiday with your guard down. I mean, what pussy to send someone in as well? What what an absolute soft cunt. Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, well, it's as soft as it gets. You know, it, it, yeah. it would be deranged, you know, even to do that on your own. Uh, well, yeah, it's to bring, not. bring in a thug uh, to do it on your to behalf. travel, is, though, like, pussy. all the way to yes. Portugal just to attack you. Like, what the fuck? Uh, one of the most it's, bizarre things ever happened in my life, uh, and I've had a lot of bizarre shit happen. <laughs> I can't believe it, mate. Uh, but then again, when I think it's Johnny, I can believe it. You know, it's like, how low... Will Cog go? That's I've got a running thing that I keep saying to my brother. How low will this guy go? And lower than ever, mate. Seriously. And now he's trying to manipulate your mother, either um, directly or it, sending it's her either messages. he's doing that or yeah. he's or he's cloned the phone and something's happening there. I, I really don't know yet. We're still investigating it. A bit weird, but I well, doubt my mother would cut me off for being on a show with you. So yeah, it's, uh, well, I would it hope would not. Be, and- I just don't see that happening. If, if it did, I'm in shock. No one would even do that. But, you know, the truth's got to get out there. And he's not a nice person. He's a piece of crap. He he's, treats people like rubbish. And he's not... Not only that, he's, he's also done some real dodgy stuff with very young girls in the past. So that's why I, I brought it up because I knew I had something on him. <laughs> I was there like, oh, he's gonna gonna diss me now. He's gonna rip me. Well, I've got something on you, mate, that you can't live down. And I said it, and it felt cringe to even say it. To be honest, I feel sick even thinking about what he did. You know, but well, that's what Paul said. Got to get out there because. Because he's got people who follow him. People like this guy. People are giving him money. I don't understand it. Like, stop giving that guy money. He's a, he's a pedo. He's a freak. And he takes advantage of people, manipulates the hell out of anyone around him. And half the people that are his friends, they'll soon be gone eventually. He'll, he'll manipulate them so far to the point where they'll just get sick of him. And then he cuts them off and he, he'll, he'll, he'll say so many nasty things about them too in the future. You know? Yeah, and he he does that to his own people. Yeah, we've seen that oh, recently yeah. uh, with one of his top guys. Just a matter of time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's just a matter of time. Now, let me ask you what I asked Paul yesterday. What was it like uh, growing up with Cog? <laughs> Johnny growing up with him. Oh, well, as a kid, he was a mouthy little kid. I remember that. Uh, but I left home quite early. I left at about 15. So um, I didn't really get to see him grow up too much. Um, I kind of met him like when he was a bit older after I'd come back and got con- in contact with the family again. So, um, but he, he resents me for that though, leaving home. He acts like that was an attack on him when it wasn't. But you know, he, he's really upset that I left home. I know that. So it's a bit weird. Um, Johnny, as I remember him when I came back, he was still, you know, he's, at first, I, I remember him as a child, you see, so innocent in my eyes, right? Yeah. But when he's adult and he's a, he's 
the way he was when I first got in touch with him. Well, at first he was okay and all cool with me, you know. He smoked weed, I did, we chilled and stuff, you know. And um, everything was okay for a while. But um, yeah, there was a time where he actually did something to me pretty nasty. Um, I had I had some I had tonsillitis, so I was in bed. I had got some new girlfriend who was kind of foreign, and like I got tonsillitis from it, right? <laughs> so I was ended up in bed. Now I had um, I was doing some some criminal activity back then. Um, so I had like a big box full of stuff, if you know what I mean, yeah, uh, okay. with my money in it as well and everything. And this guy stole a, a big bag of stuff and um, and my money as well, and then went away. Uh, proceeded to deny that he ever even took them. And it took me like two years to drill him and get the money out of him and get anything back from this guy. Like it took me two years to even get him to admit that he stole it from me. Such a piece of shit. I mean, the guy denied it to the hill to start until I just until I got him one day and punched him in the face. <laughs> and he just and then that was when he, he he broke down and said he was sorry. You know, it was just like wow, he's such a piece of shit. Like, how can you rob from your own brother when he's well, I was sick? Say, it's, you robbed, it's bad enough to rob from your brother, but to rob from him when he's, like, ill? When he's at his most vulnerable. Yes. Like I say, he takes so advantage of people who are vulnerable, mate. It's disgusting what he does. It really is. And I worry for any of those kids in his house right now. I worry for anyone around. Anyone. Anyone who cares for that guy gets screwed over. Believe me. It's pretty sad. Now you got you got the money out of him. Now tell me how your relationship with him changed, and how you ended up, uh, you know, trying to trying to work with him on the beats and stuff like that. And um, well, you know, he, he was telling me he was on this YouTube thing, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, well, I make beats, I've been making music, and I was showing him my channel, you know. And we were just getting on on that level, and he was like, oh, let's make a let's make a beat, you know. So I just made a beat for him. He'd, he'd rap on it. And and sometimes I even just let him do his thing, you know, and didn't really care, like, if I was on it or not. But it gets to a point where I was like, you know, I might want to be on one of my beats. So, and he was just basically saying, no, you can't be. And I was like, this is my music. You can't tell me what to do on it. So that's where we basically fell out because he couldn't handle that. I, I wanted to have a choice, that's all, and not just be, you know, lorded over by Johnny. But he, he doesn't like that. He likes to be in full control, you know. So, because he was losing control over the situation, he spazzed out. He came to my house, kick it off. And, and it's this... really strange because he's not even like a strong guy. It's not like no, he's not. you know he doesn't. He, it, that's it was just he was literally running off emotions. You could see it in his face. He was just fueled up. And uh, I think it was mo- his, uh, he was with that Nadia at the time as well, Nat Thieves or whatever she's called. Um, he was with her at the time. I'm sure she was winding him up as well, you know, to get him going. So. It's a lot of things. He came around all just ready to go. And I was just thinking, why are you so angry? What are you angry about? I just said no. And I told you to go away. Like, he came to my flat. I, he buzzed me up and I said, go away. And he, he tailgated to get in. So, just a... Oh, he tailgated to get into the building. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's he, a he fly little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a weasel, man. He really is. Slippery little fucker. Yeah. But, you know... That's cock for you. If people don't know what that is, that's where you wait for somebody who actually lives there to open the door instead of getting buzzed yep. in, and then you just sneak in. You get in um, illegally. Yes, yes, it's illegal to do that, yes. Uh, you know, I feel like, yeah, I know. <laughs> he did it. Oh, we didn't actually get into my house. He got, like, as far as my, you know, the, the, the front bit of my flat. So I just had kind of had a little scuffle with him there. And, uh, yeah, when his glasses fell off, he was pretty much blind. It was so funny. And even my, my neighbor had to basically pick up his glasses and give them back. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> but I love how the, he acted like he was so heroic and he'd kick my ass. It just made me laugh, that crap. But that's Johnny. He loves to lie. <laughs> lie, lie, lie. And, uh, you know, bend the truth if he can. You know, and, you know, it's all about his ops, isn't he? His gay ops. <laughs> that's what he's into. It's all about what it looks like, not what's really happening, you know? So... That's right. Uh, it's all about perception with him, and he has no problem lying about anything whatsoever. Oh, yeah. It's like a way of he life. He loves lying. Uh, lying to him is not, he's a second language. It really is. It really is. I Now, let me ask you about um, – we talked about his, his council flat a little bit yesterday. Uh, the oh, man. 
Fly. Let me tell you about that as well. Please oh, do. God. I, this guy had black mole all over his flat, right? And me, being the kind brother that I am, I saw this and I thought, I don't want my brother living in shit. I don't want him breathing this crap in, right? So why I cleaned this whole house, I cleaned it all. I cleaned all his black mold away. It's like literally a week before he kicked off with me as well. It's like, here's me there just doing as good as I can, you know? <laughs> and he's, he's just, and it was so, to me, it's just like, how can you turn on someone who's, who's going out their way to prove to you how much they give a shit about you? Do you know what I mean? Because as much as he's a knobhead, I gave a shit about him because he's my brother, you know? So I was just like, you know, I don't want him living like this. I helped him. I cleaned it all up. And then um, two weeks later, he kicks off with me, and then he moves out. <laughs> like, all right, whatever, mate. But yeah, it's just weird, that, isn't it? I, 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 I literally cleaned it all for him. It was a horrible mess. His flat was a big shit tip as well, but, you know. Yeah, and I was he's, uh, told he's that, an that idiot. flat was actually new when he moved into it. When uh, he moved in, it was it was brand new, but, you know, the, it's a council flat, so that you yeah. have to decorate yourself. Yeah. So it's never going to look good when you move in. Yep. Unless you put loads of decorations up and put some carpet down. So he didn't really carpet it or anything. He just had his stuff. He had his computers and stuff. And that was around about it. Um, I think he bought a pull-ups bar that he never used. So that was just for sure. <laughs> 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 but that was, I could have got more use out of that fucking thing. I love pull-ups. But, you know. Um, but, yeah, I just, I just felt like, well really betrayed by that. I just thought, what the hell, man? I'm, I've done everything for you. I've done absolutely nothing to try and piss you off. So why why do you think that you can take advantage? But then I realized it's because he thinks that empathetic people are weak. He thinks he can take advantage, you know, because I've been good to him. He thinks, ah, you're an idiot. I'll just, take, I'll just bully you. And it's like, no, nah, you're not bullying me, mate. <laughs> I don't care. I can cut you off. And I can bury you on all your horrible, disgusting history. And Paul's in chat. I, think, I mean, I've got an endless reel of how much shit this guy's tried to do to me and other people, you know? So, Well, I want to go through it all. Uh, and, I see, <laughs> and I see Paul in chat, and he said that he let the mold come back. That's true. So actually, I bet he did. Yeah, he's he, a lazy he bastard. Did. He's lazy as fuck. Because like, when he moved out, he nothing. took another video, and the mold is back. So you clean the mold up for him. I don't know if you've ever seen this video. But no way did he come back after I cleaned it. Fucking hell. Yes, Why couldn't he keep on top back. of it? It came back in a big way, and he was like, no, I'm, I'm not about surprised it. because yeah. he's lazy and he won't keep on top of it and he wouldn't get it fixed. He, he just expected me to keep cleaning it. But <laughs> this is crazy, man. It's like, so that's a wrinkle a that, we did, to, that we didn't know actually that you had cleaned he, it. He won't, him, won't he 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 won't ever clean his house, he, like, he just never will. I've, I've tried to get that guy to tidy up sometimes, and he just won't. He won't. He won't do it. I guess he just likes living in shit. <laughs> now, tell us, before we go into his uh, history with women, um, t t <laughs> tell us some stuff we might not know, uh, some other stories um, oh, man. Uh, about, uh, about his uh, decrepit behavior. Decrepit behavior. If you can think of any off the top of your head, uh, that's the thing off the top of my head. I can't really, but I'm, I'm trying. Um, no, I, I think I've covered most of the main horrible things that yes. he's done. But like in general, he's just a very manipulative person and likes to just backstab you every five minutes and turn on you and shit. Oh, I've had a time where I've, I had a girl over. Like I wasn't even in a relationship with her. I just started. You know, when you just start seeing someone, you don't know what you do with them. Yeah. So I had her over. And I was chilling with her and I was, you know, I was having a good time and he calls me up and he's like, oh, I want to come over. And I was like, well, I'm with a girl. And he's like, so? He's trying to act like he's all bad. Like, so what? Why well, can't I come over? So I was like, all right, fine, come over then. And he, he, he goes, oh, I'll buy you some food. And I was like, right, fine, then come over and buy us dinner then, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> so he did. He came over, bought us some, uh, some, some fucking Chinese and we sat down and ate it. But I just remember him sitting there and saying something like, uh, why are you not with her? Why, have you, why can't you just make her your girlfriend? And all this kind of weird, like, pressuring shit on her. Like, as if, and trying to make out like I'm a cunt, basically, and I've not even tried anything with her or tried to, you know, see her as a person, you know? <laughs> and he just, I, I, I could see he was just trying to just make her turn against me, you know? Even though she didn't, after it, she was just like, who the fuck is he? Why is he like that, you know? <laughs> I was just like, that's just Johnny, man. He's just fucking you know, always trying like, and there's another time as well um, where he basically, he, I was sat in his living room and I don't know what, I can't remember the conversation, but I remember what he said. 
was pretty disgusting. And he just basically called me a, a dumb N word, you know, a dumb, you know, yeah. N word. I'm not going to say it right, but <laughs> I'm too white for that. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but Johnny seems to think it's just fine. But I'd love to see him in a room full of black guys saying that. Yeah, yeah, you won't, will you, motherfucker? <laughs> exactly. Big pussy. He was saying to a white guy like me, yeah, he called me that. He said, you're just a dumb N-word. And I was like, nah, you, you better watch your mouth before I knock you out. And he just shut the fuck up, stop saying it. But still, it's just like, look at this guy, man. He's just like constantly, he's got some sort of issue with you. That's how he feels. And here's me trying to be cool with this guy. It's impossible. It's impossible. He's always looking for some shit. He's always trying to fuck with you or degrade you. And I, I've even sat in a room once where he's told me, Oh yeah, of course. If I've got a girl around, I'm gonna put you down to pick me up. <laughs> That's his attitude, and they're like, "Bro, you are insecure. That's your problem. Insecure as fuck, and you you try you have to put me down in front of someone else just to boost your ego. You know, it's pretty sad. Just to pump himself up, yeah. Uh, so yeah. start talking, start shitting on you. Uh, to so like, pump these are just instances of, I've had with him where I've just been like, this guy is a disgusting human being. What is wrong with this guy? Why is he so angry at me as well? Is it jealousy? Is it envy? I just don't know. I really don't. I've always wondered what his problem is with me. And maybe it's leaving home that I upset him on. I don't know. Fucking God knows. Well, you know, I wonder about that. He's a weird guy. I always wonder, like, what has I done? What did I do that was so bad? And I can't think of anything. So. Well, because uh, I wonder about that because Paul, you know, well, he's older than Cog, but he left home early too. Uh, yeah, we all it, did. And it seems like he has beef over that. It seems like that. Like, Oh, like yeah. He feels like we did that as, as an attack on him or something. It's like, no, we left home because we were dumb, rebellious kids. Like most dumb, rebellious kids do leave home. You know, mom and dad were very religious and we were young kids and we were like, we want to do what we want. So that's, pretty much why we left home and also there was a lot of um you know violence going on in the family like uh, my dad was a little heavy-handed i won't say it was that bad but you know we get beat every now and then you know and that's what kind of i it tipped over the edge because i was getting beat a little too often you know so as usual my family likes well not all my family but some of the members of my family like to drag me under the bus anytime they can because they've got some sort of problem with me <laughs> which I still like I, even to say I'm like why do these people hate me so much I don't know what the problem is but it's only a few people in the family it's not all of them it's literally like two people <laughs> so out of eight you know yeah so, and you got a big family so I mean yeah. you know the odds are something like that might it's happen, expected but, you know yeah, you're gonna get a yeah, few that don't yeah, like yeah. you but yeah it's just like man now, my fucking life I, I see Samantha in chat and she says ask Mike uh, how Cog talks to women uh, How he talks to women. Yes, she said it. She said it was Hila- hilarious. Uh, like a baby. He does this. He does this baby. Like when he's got a girlfriend, he's actually got a girlfriend. When he's actually lucky enough to get any girl that will actually feel sorry for him and be with him, um, he will baby them. He will hang around like they'll be a grown adult, and he'll be talking to them like they're five. You know, like you talk to a dog when you see a little dog or a little baby. <laughs> like you're like, oh, good you go. That's the kind of shit he does, like Gucci Goo bullshit. It's cringeworthy, mate. And I've seen him do it numerous <laughs> times, and I'm like, what the fuck, mate? What are you doing? Can't you see that's the biggest turn off in the world to a woman? I mean, come on, mate. <laughs> you know? Well, maybe he's trying to uh, pretend they're 14 years old. I don't know. Who knows, mate? Maybe but, that's... but the reality is those girls have ended up dumping him for, you know, other men. Apparently, he got chucked out, chucked out of his house by oh. uh, Nadia, by thieves. I, I heard he, about that. Uh, what did you know about uh, Thieves? Well, I, I used to know his dealer, right? And his dealer basically let me know. <laughs> He's in prison now, unfortunately. But that guy, um, he, he let me know on the, off the great bar. So I know it's real, right? He was like, oh, your brother's really down right now. He's got nowhere to live. Because um, some girl he was with kicked him out and got some guy to kick him kick him out. So I'm there like, no way. And I was pissing myself laughing. And he's like, what's funny? I was like, because that guy's a complete dick. I mean, I, I'm happy if anything bad happens to that prick. He's a prick. He deserves to be homeless. <laughs> he deserves nothing, that motherfucker. Absolutely nothing. I'm a disgusting bastard. But yeah, it's just um, weird to hear that, isn't it, from somebody who's just completely unrelated. He just said that to me, and I was like, whoa, no way. 
that's fucked up. So I've told Paul, you know, and he knows now. So it's just like, and he didn't even know that. So I guess, I guess Natty was trying to keep that quiet herself to try and, you know, not look like a bitch. But the reality is, this is what's happened. He's, been, he's basically getting cucked. <laughs> he got cucked to the first degree, bro. He got <laughs> cucked and then thrown out of the house. He tried and to hang around out the, house the house to, to hold on, right? Uh, you yep. know, and try to keep her somehow. Oh, he'd probably try. He would. He'd linger till he till someone has to take him out. I know he's right. right. Well, that's what I'm saying. He, he had to be removed. Like, what else? Yeah. What else could she have done other than have a real exactly. man come and take him out out of there? Uh, right. And like, damn right. She. I'm glad she did. I'm proud of her. Wherever she is, you know, because you know, he, he, she could do a million times better than him. He's an idiot. He's he's absolute idiot, and he and he's got. No way with women. I don't know how he ever gets a girl, but like I say, he does go for the most vulnerable and girls who are pretty much down their luck, you know? Like, she was a bit of an alcoholic, you see, and a bit depressed, and I think that's what he, you know, fed into. So, it's uh, just pretty shitty, man. He's just a shitty guy in general, mate. I, I'm ashamed that he's my brother. Sometimes I'm sitting there like, how the fuck is this guy related to me? He's nothing like me. Nothing. Not even a shred like me. So strange. And we're looking at one of. Uh, He's a vasectomy baby, you know. So. <laughs> I, know, we heard that yesterday. I, I guess. Uh, I guess the good part of him didn't get through, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was filtered or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> filtered cog, uh, and we're seeing his uh, his current woman here, who he got with apparently like a week after. Uh, yeah, uh, she, she's just going to be a, a useful idiot for him, though. Now, you know, it's really what she's going to do. She's going to she's going to back him up and support him, of course. You know, but that's all he's got is people he can manipulate. No one else. Everybody else knows what he's up to. Know his game already. But anyone new in his life, they don't know yet. They don't know. They're just being manipulated. It's just the way it is. And um, you know, love is blind, isn't it? So. It can be, yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> Definitely if you're looking at Johnny. <laughs> I love fucking com- She's completely blind, man. Fuck me. <laughs> In every way. <laughs> and he lives with her and with Dan the thug. Who off her. Me import- lives Portugal. off her. Lives off, off her. her. Lives yes. off her. Believe me, it's off her. He lives off her. It's, it, he won't own that place. He, doesn't, he won't even be paying the rent. He's just literally leeching as usual. Because he's homeless. Bitch. That's what we, that's what yeah. we call him here uh, on the kill stream. Um, and he he lives there. Right. He cl- he's tried to claim for months that he owns this home. Uh, and of course, <laughs> it's been proven that he he doesn't. Uh, like her family owns that house. Uh, yeah, but and, he, he'll 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 be like, well, technically I own it, <laughs> but it's not. No, you don't own it, mate. You don't own shit. In fact, if she dumps you tomorrow, you're done for, mate. You ain't got nowhere to live again. And, you know, who knows, eh? Who knows what the future's going to hold? Yeah, I... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, if you can almost predict it, can't you? You're like, yes. yeah, give it a month. <laughs> give it a year at the most. <laughs> well, he's brought all this chaos into their into their lives. I mean, you know, I, I rang her up on the phone the other day live on air. Uh, and which I thought was pretty, uh, pretty amusing, but like, you know, I never would have focused on this guy like this. Um, if he had yeah. turned it into, you know, like a blood feud for years. Oh, he got nothing. it. He made it personal. Yeah. It wasn't before. Personal it's a joke. as you can possibly get. Uh, Crystal 0008 sent $5 chat. on Hold Rumble. On, let me see. Did Cog torture animals when he was a child? Crystal says, did Cog <laughs> torture animals when he was a child? Um, it's possible. There were a few frogs going missing from the, you know, garden. So you never know. But he's probably eating them. <laughs> well, there is a. He told a story about eating his girlfriend's rats. Uh, oh to God! Get, what the what? To get back, seriously? I swear, I'm not kidding. No, <laughs> I'm not kidding. That he. Oh man, I've heard some really fucked up stories about him, and there's another one now. Just, just, just popped in my head. Um, I remember, like, as a girl, uh, my brother, I got a brother who's got an ex um, who's got kids with called Fiona, right? And she told me this story about Johnny. She was like, Johnny's fucked up. And I'm like, why? Why? What's he done? And she's like, 
he told me this story about how he went to a girl's house and she rejected him. So he jerked off all over a fucking a couch in a living room of her parents and just left it there. And he thought he was dead proud of this. And he's telling Fiona this, like, super proud. And she was just like, he's disgusting, man. He's a disgusting guy. <laughs> to even think that's cool. You know, just this, honestly, endless reels of shit this guy has done. It's fucking, honestly, man, he's, he's a, a monster. So, so he got rejected by a female and jacked off on her parents' yeah. couch and then yeah. vacated the and he, and he was super proud about it. And he went and told my brother's ex this, you know. That's un- unbelievable. I, uh, it is. I mean, when she told me, I was like, no way did he say that. And she was like, yeah. And he was really proud about it. It wasn't even like he was, you know, holding back and being like, oh, I feel such stupid about it. He was happy about it. That's it up, Paul. insane. And yes, the rat story. Yes, they they were her pet rats, and I so guess he, she had left him, and he ate the rats ew. as like punishment toward her. Yes. That's what I'm saying. He spit in the head. You you scorn. The hell hath no fury like a, a cog scorn. Seriously, because that's what he'll do. he'll eat your pet, man. The fuck up. <laughs> he ate a rat. He <laughs> ate rat. My God, that is insane. <laughs> That is, I haven't even heard that, but that yeah. is fucked up, man. Yeah. I Poor rat. I used to think that was made <laughs> no, up, but you know, there's clips of him talking about how he how he ate the rats uh, as, like, punishment. Yo, um, no and, way. <laughs> so That's <laughs> unbelievable. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Like, your brain's just like, no, did you do that? And he, did he, was he proud of this? <laughs> yes. Of oh, course. God. <laughs> Oh, yes, look, God. He, look. He de- it's K- Katie can't tell him. She heard it herself. She says he defends the rat eating to guys who challenge him about it in the chat. No I heard way, it myself. He, yes, he defends, he defends it. it. Yes, he defends the rat he eating. Does. By the way, I don't know if just people like know he this. defends being a pedo by. <laughs> oh, I thought she was eighteen. <laughs> yeah, of course she did. Thanks. By the way, I don't know if people know this or not, but rats are not healthy to eat uh, and carry all no. kinds of diseases. And, and it's probably and, why he's so messed up. You never know. <laughs> probably fucked his brain up even more. Yeah, I don't think it helped him any. I, I, I can say that for sure. Uh, well, he acts like a rat now, so maybe that's it. You know, <laughs> he's tested it so much he's becoming it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think it helped his mental state uh, at all. And I, I see well, come on, man. That is the most... <laughs> Who's the twist- fuck? In the first that place, twisted, like, that's like cannibalism almost. It is. It wasn't like okay, uh, you know. First off, don't eat and rats. That's somebody's pet. It's like right. it's somebody's. They love that animal, you know. Yeah. And you just ate it like it was nothing. Uh, and it's not like oh. he was starving and had to eat a rat, right? Oh, like, I know. Uh, which still, you know. Oh no, he does it out of spite. He does yes. it out of spite. Yes. He's a spiteful little shit. Oh, I know. He ate rats out of spite and defended that. Wow. I, That's a new one to me, man. I didn't know that. That's fucking insane. Oh, God. This wow. guy just actually, I really think he needs to see a psychologist, man. I do. Well, that's what I Paul mean, said yesterday. Not that I give a fuck about him, but I do just for anyone around him. You know, he needs to. Because that is wrong. And to even sit there and justify something that fucked up. Or anything, any of his shitty behavior that he justifies. Like even attacking you, it's just like, where is your head at, bro? Where is it? Like, he literally has on his WhatsApp, where is my mind? And I always think that I'm thinking, yeah, where the fuck is it, bro? Where the fuck is it? You're off the fucking wall with this shit. Like, attacking people, justifying it, eating rats now, justifying it. Fucking 14-year-olds and justifying it. I remember when he was on the phone to me about that 14-year-old when I thought she was 18, telling me how good it was, you know? So I know it definitely fucking happened, man. I was bragging about it. Well, he probably, so. uh, he was happy with himself. He uh, was. That he had gotten with a 14-year-old. I'm sure he thought oh, yeah. that was the greatest thing. Probably I bet he so. thought it was real kinky, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's clear that he. I bet. I bet. It was titillating uh, to him to be with the 14-year-old. Um, just it's unbelievable. Up, man. Um, well, that's rape. Was, you know, he, well, yes. he's a rapist. Yes. That is rape. Look, a child doesn't have any, you know, they, they can't decide. Even if they said, oh, I'm 18, they still, you can't go off that. The reality is, you should know better. You should be asking for ID. End of story. You're an adult. Act like one, you know? 
Well, yeah, there's no excuse. And plus, I don't believe that he didn't know anyway. I mean, come on. I think he knew. Yeah. I think he knew. I think yeah. he knew. Like, just think he ignored it. Yeah. Thought no one would find out. Oh, well. <laughs> Too late, bro. you got an honest brother right next to you who knows quite a lot about you. And I'm quite happy to tell people. Now, I, I'm, I'm looking through. I have some questions here. Somebody sent me some questions, too. Um, and let me see here. Um... Uh, anything about Olenska and the suicide baiting? Uh, I don't know how. I, much I, I wasn't around for that. Around I remember Olenska was some girlfriend of his from America. Um, that's all I remember. I think he went there and visited her. Yeah. Um, went to White Castle or something. That's all I really remember from that. I don't. I didn't. I don't know anything after okay. that. Apparently, he's he sent he, he was bullying somebody to a, to basically suicide. From what I've heard. Yes, he did do that. Yeah. Um, that is horrible, man. man he, That's he's... really wrong. That is, man. That's like the you know, below the belt wrong. And like... then was proud of it and celebrated it Yo. afterwards. Um, really? So... Well, there you go. Same old, same old shit, isn't it? Yeah. And we we talked. So about I'm that starting to see a pattern here. You know? Yeah. I mean, this he's... guy likes to fucking justify every single fuck up thing he does. It's really horrible. Now uh, I'm I'm looking through here. Um, please, I don't know what this means, but it says please yeah. ask Michael about couch pillows. Super important. I don't know couch that, pillow. Couch pillows. I don't know if that. That's what I about him spunking on the pillows. Okay. Yeah, that's. I think that's what that is. Yeah. Okay. All right. We did. We did get to that. We got to that. All right. So <laughs> yeah, and I didn't know that story. That's um, another. I mean, yeah. I bet there's more in my brain somewhere. I just probably deleted it out of my head. Just don't want to think about it. <laughs> that's that's how it is with this guy. Like you literally have to block him out of your brain just to get on with your life and feel normal again. <laughs> Seriously, I just like I, he makes me sick, man. Literally makes me feel sick. Think, just thinking about the guy, I'm just like, nasty bastard, man. So many bad things he's done. It's just, and now they're eating rats. That's just, I, 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 you know, I'm, not, I'm hardly even shocked because that's just Johnny in it. That's just the way he is. <laughs> who the fuck eats rats, dude? I don't know. I can't. Who, do them, who eats rats and as revenge? Even I mean, eat a rat when you're starving. Eat a rat <laughs> as revenge. Eat someone's pet rat. That's like eating someone's pet dog. It's fucked. It's fucked. You're, you're just not supposed to do that, Johnny. I hope you're listening, you little dick. What the oh, fuck? Oh, he's listening for sure. Oh, he's and, listening intently. And, the all seething eye of cog, <laughs> as, we, as everyone calls it that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then God. how did he prepare the rats? Does anybody in chat know? Did he deep fry the rats? Sorry, or... poor bit. Probably put ketchup on it. Yeah. <laughs> be it. Bit of ketchup, it'll taste lovely like burgers. <laughs> oh uh, god. Yeah, I I don't know. I, I I'm I'm just I, I'm just I have so many questions about how he prepared these rats. Um, <laughs> and like I said, rats have all kinds of diseases. You're not supposed to eat rats. Uh, yeah, he's, he's he's brain's diseased already. So I don't, I think he might have suited it. You know, yeah, it's probably maybe, his maybe it actually helped him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, it does. it's it also fits like cannibalism. Johnny eating rat, rat eating just about rat. Right. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's kind of like a little bit of cannibalism. Uh, it's fucked up, that, you... mate. That's really fucked. But then again, like I say, it doesn't surprise me. He's really capable of some strange shit, man. Like even that, like sending a guy after you in all the way in Portugal. Like, what in the fuck? When you're obviously guard down, chilling on your holidays, you know? It's fucking disgusting behavior, that. I'm, I'm so ashamed of him for that, mate. I am. Anonymous um, sent five dollars. What's Cog's favorite football team? I see a super chat says, "What's Cog's favorite football team? Uh, soccer." I don't think he supports football. He's, he's a pussy. <laughs> 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 he doesn't, I doubt he watches it. I doubt he watches it. He's too much of a girl, you know. Well, not a girl. No, nothing against girls. He's too much of a pussy. Yeah, that's the best thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> now, what about you? He's yours? just a soft what's, guy. What's your favorite football team? Uh, United. Man United. Ah, Man United. Of course. Yeah, I live here. <laughs> Man U. I was wondering if your city or feeling was Man U, though. It's got to be Man U. I mean, I, City may be a little bit, a bit. A bit. I, I don't have a problem with either. They're both Manchester, in my opinion. But I do prefer Man United because uh, they're better, you know? So. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we have a man, United, Adolf. I don't know if he's here right now, but he's a huge, he's an American, but he's a huge 
Uh, he's a huge uh, Man United fan. Uh, yeah. So uh, if he hears that, I'm sure that'll that'll uh, make him pretty happy. I, th- I think Raven uh, is a pretty big. A lot of people are. I mean, yeah, it's a very sure. famous. Michael Anderson said sure. five dollars. Beware the terror no, of Dudleyville. Stalking the sewers at night, <laughs> eating the rats of spurned lovers, and spunking on your couch. The dreaded <laughs> Cofferatu. <laughs> I, I don't know if you could uh, hear that or not, um, but let me see if if I can pull that back up. So I, can I can just can... hear it. It's like a robot voice. It's so funny. Oh, did it come through <laughs> where you could hear it? I can just about hear oh, the end of about. it. Okay. Through, yeah. All right, let me read it. He said, beware the terror of Dudleyville. Oh, wait, hold on. There's another one coming in. A dog <laughs> There's Adel Wolf. On he said, glory, man, glory, united. Glory, man, united. Glory, glory, man, united. Glory, glory, man, united. <laughs> yeah. Love that shit, man. Love it. I knew I knew Adel would enjoy that. Now, uh, Adel Anderson says, beware the terror of Dudleyville, stalking the sewers at night, eating the rats <laughs> of spurned lovers, and spunking on your couch. The dreaded <laughs> cog for Ratu. <laughs> the dreaded cog for Ratu. Uh, yeah, beware of cog when he's lurking. <laughs> now, looking for your rats to eat. <laughs> I'm trying oh, to... It must have got the munchies. I don't know. Maybe he just had a joint. He's like, no, those rats look real good. <laughs> Imagine that scene there, but... <laughs> I can't imagine eating a rat. I'm sorry. Like a, I can't. I can't. I don't care what munchies I've got. I'm eating pizza. Fuck, fuck it, rat. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm I'm uh, looking through um I'm looking through some of the stuff we, we we talked about yesterday, but I I don't know if if you'd already had the falling out with him uh with with thieves uh when when um i guess you had because you talked about it earlier in well, the when interview. when she uh yeah she was being on his side you know at the time so yeah. she was obviously but the strange thing is i did have to call her and i did tell her like you know what really happened and she actually agreed with me she was weirdly enough she actually admitted that yeah john you did win beating johnny up you know <laughs> and she could tell she was just laughing her head off really but she was kind of conflicted, obviously, because, you know, Johnny sat right next to her. So. <laughs> <laughs> and she was just dying to laugh at him, you know. I think I think that's where it ticked it off. I think Anonymous that's where it kicked off the end of their relationship. With that whole thing. Vibes. Oh, with him, with her laughing in his face, basically. Well, right? I, I think that... she just realized that day that he's a dick. He's a piece of shit. You know, and he's literally treating his brother, who's been dead good to him, like crap. All of a sudden, just for, just for nothing, really. Really petty little things. So I think she saw the well, saw know, that side I, of him. You know what? I think you're right because um, the, it wasn't long after that. No, it wasn't up. long. It wasn't long because we talked to you in the summer of 2020, and then Christmas, uh, the famous Chuck stream where he went on air on Christmas. God, and he cried, he cried, <laughs> cried like a bitch. What a bitch! Cried oh, like a God. bitch. Tried to get her fired, and um, you Nadia know. was a dead nice girl, though. You know, actually, Nadia, I liked her. I thought she was okay. She wasn't. I, I think she was just, you know, unfortunately with with Cog. So you know, that's how it is. When you when you're with him, you get guilty by association, don't you? So yeah. <laughs> that's the way it is. That's true. Uh, and I see anonymous with a super chat says Cog gives Tottenham fan vibes. Uh, is what he said there. Um, a little shot at the Spurs there of Tottenham. Uh, I know somebody who used to live pretty close to Tottenham. I won't go into that, but um, I, I'm looking through. So, so thieves. Oh, let's get now. In, in like you said, that happened like four months, maybe four or five months later. Uh, yeah. where, where their whole thing uh, just went to shit, disintegrated. So that timeline does actually add up. Uh, now, that you well, apparently it. he was cheating on her and all kinds yes. of things. Anyway, so he got what he deserved. You know, to get cheated on and kicked out of the house so it was fair I think what Nadia did was perfectly okay well I did too and he tried to frame it as um, he's a big know, victim he was, he was the one being cheated on yeah. right? Well, of course he's the victim always remember yeah that's right he tried Cog does no wrong he's always a victim guys <laughs> yeah that's that's what that's, that's what he dark pretend. by the way people who can't understand <laughs> like him <laughs> and like him yeah exactly <laughs> but yeah he 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 acted like he was the one being cheated on uh and he was the one who was it would have uh, been fair even if he was 
it would have been fair because he was cheating. Apparently, he was always cheating on her. So what I don't else? know why, because she was way out of his league, and he, she could have done better than him. He was lucky to have her. He should have been very happy with that. But uh, I guess he can't help himself. Well, he had the Hindu hog on the line, you know, within a week. Uh, to oh, there wins. you go. So, so I mean, and he had to be. She, uh, she was clearly he was cheating with. There must have been that something going on there, you know. And then um, he just used her because he had nowhere to live. Like, he literally said that to my dealer. He was like, "I've got nowhere to live. I'm trying to get. He's trying to get in there with some girl right now." <laughs> Like, wow, he's, he's such a using twat. Why can't he just get his own plate? Rumble. Keep cog away from farms, well, he's pet probably supply stores, from and pillow furniture stores. Houses now, like your Hide your goods. Said yesterday. Uh, Pardon? He said he might be blacklisted from the council. Uh, ah, good. After the uh, way he left his... Yeah. I don't think you've ever seen that video. Uh, I don't know what happened. I just know that he left because I told him to get out of the area. I said, you better get out of the area before I come and find you. And he, and he disappeared. <laughs> He just uh, fucked off all of a sudden. I was like, ah, I guess he took my advice. Well, Thieves is kind of hot. Yeah, I see Vagabond mention that. Yeah, Paul and Chad. Oh, she was okay, man. Yeah, I, I would have bought it. I said. Yeah, I would. She has some nice tits. I, oh, I was she's like, lovely, man. She's yeah. dead nice, though. Like, the thing is about her, she was a dead nice personality. And, you know, he didn't deserve that shit, man. He didn't deserve someone that good in his life because he's a dick. And that's why it didn't work out. I already know why it didn't work out because she's a good person. He's not. And she probably just figured it one day. Was like, yeah, this guy's a dick, and he's a fucking ugly twat who looks like fucking where's Waldo, you know? So. <laughs> he does look like where's Waldo. <laughs> he does. The spitting image, literally is. Well, well, honestly, you put him in a, in a stripy hat and a stripy jumper, he is where's Waldo. He is. <laughs> oh man! They burnt the doghouse in the backyard. Is that true? What? Paul? You burnt. Who burnt a dog house? That's what he's saying. Cog ate the dog. I don't know if that's Yo. true. Or not. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. That's, that's some news to but me. That wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Wouldn't surprise me, though. He sounds like <laughs> yeah, he's the joking. Agent. He's joking, by the way. He's joking. Kill anyone that loves you, you know? <laughs> He'll destroy anyone around you. If you, you ever try and love anyone more than him, that's it. You're getting it. Uh, and oh, yeah, yeah, and Paul says, imagine downgrading that far. Yeah, it's a pretty massive downgrade from thieves to this. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, oh god, in comparison to, to Nadia, she ain't shit, mate. <laughs> she no, looks it's... like a fucking, she looks like a chicken nugget. But that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna diss it too hard because it's not her fault that she's been manipulated by Johnny. And she's kind of stuck yeah. in that thing, you know. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll be the one to do that. But yeah, <laughs> yeah you can do what you like. <laughs> <laughs> well, she talked a lot of shit about but me. I don't like to attack the innocent. You but know, you know so. what? So did thieves. Uh, used to talk a lot of shit about me, but you know that's just them being played. But they by soon God. change when they yeah. realize that he's yes. a piece of shit. They that's soon right. realize and they're like, "Yeah, that's right. why is he such a dick?" You know, and everyone will realize and and say sorry to you eventually, bro. <laughs> and they'll be like, "Sorry, we I was manipulated." Because when you're with him, I, I swear, he, he controls people's brains, man. I don't, usually the most vulnerable, stupid people as well. It's typically, or just like I say, vulnerable in a, in a rough position. Like, she was drinking a lot and was depressed, you know? So I think that's what he took advantage of there with Nadia. And then this other one, she's probably just wanted someone to marry, you know? Obviously. Um, and also someone to share a house with. So... He just dived right into that, didn't he? Yes, he did. Uh, we have a picture of him up here on the screen. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, I've yeah. seen a few pictures of him with his Hugo Boss on. It's funny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo Boss, the poor man's designers. <laughs> <laughs> what about the what about the picture of him in the traditional Indian uh, where oh god seen, that's seen, fucking, that? well Cog is a cock you know and he's proving it he's literally got the the, uh, the outfit on now fully cooked you know would you <laughs> would you ever wear that uh... no no <laughs> never I don't even care if the girl wants to marry I'd say I'm not marrying you and I'm not wearing that shit if I'm marrying you wear a suit at least you know fuck it up you wear a suit don't you you wear a proper suit not some fucking Prince of Persia shit. I mean, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I'm looking at it like, where the fuck is this get up, man? Jesus. 
But it, uh, it's a Hindu <laughs> wedding, isn't it? So I guess, yeah, yeah they do wear some fruity clothes. So. Yes, yes, it was a Hindu. It was the Hindu ceremony. I guess maybe they had two different ones or something. But, yeah, that was the Hindu ceremony. Imagine being her family yeah. there laughing oh, their God. ass off. I mean, that, that, oh, God. Oh, my God. You have to it's be. It's sad. I guess they were all happy for her, though, because she's Are probably doing, real uh, desperate uh, and was dying for her husband. So, you know, yeah. he's that sucker who came along. And, you know, <laughs> everyone's a fucking winner. <laughs> 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 I wonder if there's pictures of Dan in that same time. I wonder if Dan wore the... Yeah, what's it with this Dan guy anyway? Isn't he going out with her sister or something? Yes, Keeping it in the family. So he's that married to disgusting. the sister. He's married to the sister. So they're sister. both banging a pair of sisters. That is yes. disgusting. Yes. That is, it's fucking weird. And it's they like, all live can't together. Just find another family, bro. You know, <laughs> to go and have a girlfriend with. <laughs> Why'd you have to get in yes. my family? <laughs> and they all live together in the same home. Uh, Yo, as well. well, who knows what's going to go on there, man? <laughs> 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 well, we know Cog's shooting blanks, so if she somehow turns Yo, up... Yo, it's a matter of time, man. If, like, if he, I'm, 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 he guaranteed he's shooting blanks, man. <laughs> Fucking hell. But um, if he, which is a very good thing, because no more Cogs in the world is a great thing. But That's true. if she does get pregnant, it's probably Dan's. But I, I have to see something going wrong with Dan. I, I see one day... Like, he'll probably get in trouble for that thing that he did to you, and Johnny will throw him under the bus. I swear to you. I, I can see it coming already. Well, that's just my theory, you know. You never know. <laughs> well, I, but, I think that their good friendship will break up somehow. Or it, will. Uh, it will. It will eventually, and Johnny's going to get it. He's going to get his ass kicked. He will. <laughs> and he'll be crying about that too next. He'll be like, oh, this guy's a nutcase. But like, yeah, well. Oh, here's a video. I, your friend. I don't know if you can pull up videos uh, at the same time when we're talking. Uh, um, um, really on Twitter, it's a bit okay. shit like that. Yeah, well, you won't let me. But I'll, I'll send you the video um, yeah. on Twitter anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, you might not be able to pull it up, but that's that's Cog's uh, council flat that he took a video of before he vacated the premises. Oh, I can see. My God. What a mess! I'm not going to go on the YouTube because it'll take me out of it. But I can see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was. He really just left it like shit. He wouldn't give it a fuck. Yeah. And when he moved out, I'll pull it up on screen at all volume. It's a bit of a long yeah. video. Um, yeah. This is after you had cleaned it, though. Like he let it go back to shit. Um, oh yeah. I didn't completely shit. clean his house. I just cleaned all the mold away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the so mold's it was back. More though. livable. For the, the guy, the mole was back uh, in this video, and um, wow. also he had painted the floor black. Um, yeah, well, I think that was the way it was when he moved in. I think okay. it was, a, or had he painted over it? Yeah, black, really? Over, yeah, that's what I was told. Yeah, that he, that he painted it black, yeah. I guess, to make it look cleaner or something. I, I really don't. <laughs> that's I, I, a Trumpy <laughs> thing to do. I really don't. That know. is disgusting. Why don't you just get some lino or carpet? I mean, come on. It's not, it's not that expensive. I don't know. Um, see here. Let me see. Um, ask if he knows about Queen of Bant slash Medic or Mambo. I wouldn't think you would know about, uh, about that person, but... Um, Ask if he knows any instances of COG doxing supporters or collecting blackmail info. Um, um, I don't know if you know anything about that or not either, but somebody wanted me to ask you. No, that. but it, it sounds like the kind of thing he, he does. He likes to blackmail people, guilt trip people. Yeah, and I see Paul in chat says he painted... And, over and take them. donations and not, and not give any refunds, apparently. What a disgusting person. Yeah, and that just happened the other day. Somebody accidentally sent him too much money, and he couldn't care less. Like it was like a, I, a good bit of money. I, I, when I saw that, I was like, "This guy has got no showmanship." It's like if I, I get donations sometimes because I do other things that I'm not going to mention here. But like, um, I, if someone sent me money and it and they didn't like actually send me it, I'd send it them right back. Well, yeah, that's, that's the right thing to do. to do, right? Yeah, I mean. I mean, if somebody sent me money and they didn't mean to, like that means a lot to me. I'm like, yo, I'll send you right back. Mate. Sorry about that. I hope you, you know, hope you do well. But Johnny won't. He'll just keep it and say no refunds because he's broke. No, see. And he's got no dignity. And so, that's the more important part. He has no dignity. Um, yeah, because a dignified person would say, oh, man, I can't have somebody, you know, one of my followers who sent me a donation 
go out of pocket because they they fat fingered it, you know. So that's all they've done. Well, some guy they meant to fingered. send him. Some guy meant to send him four dollars and accidentally. Sent yeah, and him he sent him four hundred. Yeah, which By is mistake. a large donation, right? It's like, a fat finger. Yeah, he <laughs> fucked up, it. and he was. He, I think he said he'd been drinking or whatever. Sometimes people. But it's an easy mistake to make, yeah, it is. isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, and if Cog was any kind of real guy, he'd be like, "Yo, I'll send you it right back, bro. Sorry about that. I hope you know. But next time, please make sure you just do it right. Yeah, you know. Maybe the first time I. But the second time, I'd like, nice. The second it's time, maybe cheaper. not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, now I see you this. You have to be to be bollocked by your Indian wife. Let me see. A Bajit saying your dirty SMH. Punish for our first shout out to him, by the way. He says, how much of a slovenly bellend do you have to be to be bollocked by your Indian wife? A Pajit <laughs> saying your dirty, your dirty, shaking my head. Slovenly I like that, whoever that was. Yes, he's British. He's got his little British chef. Lovely fella. <laughs> yeah. oh, God, you got to love the British humor, man. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a soft, he's so soft. And I bet, he, he, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if she's the head of the household and he's the bitch, you know? That, that wouldn't surprise me. But like I say, he does, like even from that position, he's manipulated. It's really odd. Like, he's just, rolling guy but you, you don't see it coming you just don't see it until he blows up in your face because you did something in it like yeah and that's when you that's when you're like whoa well what that's the when fuck? it's mask off um and you know how this whole thing started you may or may not know this but um he had used on to your show and, it, and it's my understanding i'll tell this on air and, and if i'm out of line stop me but you and yeah. Paul hadn't talked in a while, uh, and it was That's true. basically because of Cog, right? Uh, and uh, kind of, it was kinda, other things too. Uh, other things too, but like but, Cog yeah, had brought him on on his show yeah. to like shit talk you or whatever. Oh, I remember uh, that. Yeah, I've, I've told him off for that. I've said it, it was, but he's admitted, you know, at least he's a big guy, and he's like, you know, yeah, I, I mean, I regret shit, that shit happens, so, and I'm sure Cog, yeah. you know, I'll push him into it anyway, but yeah. Definitely, definitely did, and he and I watched it. And he didn't really, you know. Cog was doing most of the like really crazy talk anyway, but <laughs> of course. But he he brought him. He was on. just cheerleadering. Yeah, you know, exactly. That's all he was doing. Yeah, that's basically yeah. all he was doing. And then, so this happened. Uh, I guess it was around that summer that we talked, right? Um, I think yeah. it, I think it may have been after we did our interview, which went over huge, and everybody loved it. And yeah, and that's what set him off. So he's like, he got off. Paul involved. Yeah, so he got Paul yeah. involved. They did it. They did an interview, and like I said, Paul wasn't really saying too much, uh, but it's mostly Kyle going off. Anyway, so later on in twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two, this is a year or two later. Um, wow. when you put out the, the nonce allegations, uh, yeah, yeah. and which I think are proven at this point, especially after this, of course said yesterday, um, just adding on to it. Um, but after you put that out ever since then, he's been citing his interview with Paul. Uh, and what, 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 it wasn't really an interview. It was like just Paul sitting there chiming in every once in a while. Uh, but he's been yeah. citing that as, oh, well, my other brother, you know, says he's, uh, says Mike's crazy and here's the proof. And, yeah. uh, you know, but that, now he can't why. say that, can he? No, now he can't say that. No. No. Uh, and, but the thing about this is the timeline doesn't add up either because you hadn't yeah. talked about the noncery uh, at that point. I have not. I haven't even been talking about this for a while. I've kind of just been yeah. doing my own thing, you know. I've been other things going on in my life that are a lot more important, you know. Sure, but but so, what I'm saying is, like when Paul was on, you hadn't even mentioned that at that point. But he's still been citing that appearance for years as like a defense for why he didn't fuck the. Just to try and get me, yes, yeah, try yes. and, you know, to try to get just to see what he's trying to do is make me look like I'm talking out my ass because I'm I'm crazy apparently, but you know. That's, that's someone right. who eats rats. Come on, you're cra- you're not crazy. That is crazy. That's fucking beyond crazy. I don't know what that is. And I see- what can you call that kind of person? I- it's way more than crazy. Tapped in the head. It's demonic. You know, fucking so hell. Eat r- spite eat a rat. Multiple rats. I I don't know. Uh, and I see Paul. and to be proud of it. And and then he's got. His- this is why it's so weird. It's like 
who is he has no leg to stand on. He can't sit there and say you're crazy whilst doing the crazy shit he does. It just makes no sense whatsoever. It's like he's, it's, it's weird. It's like the blind leading the blind sort of thing. It's just it's all crap. Clearly, he's an absolute nut. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I don't know. I I can be a mad guy, man. I get I get angry sometimes. I go, I, I go off on one, and I've not got much of a filter. But you know, I'm I'm. I'm just a guy, you know, like any other. I've never done anything as weird as Johnny ever in my entire life. Anything he's ever done, I cringe at. You know, I think, what the fuck? Like, because I'm, I'm Plus fairly the, normal. You know, it's the never <laughs> being able to admit to doing anything wrong, like that. That really. That's the, well, that's a narcissist. You know, it's typical. They can't. It's very hard for them to yes. say, "Oh, me fault? Nah, I'm perfect. Me." You know, that's how they see themselves. So to, to admit fault would be a big, big weakness for them, you know? They can't do it. They don't see the strength of it. They don't. And I see so. Paul and Chatty said, yeah, I fucked up. And then he said, after the way he threatened Mike today to stop him coming on the show, it's beyond confirmed. Uh, oh, you like, should see yeah. that, man. Like, he's literally, he's used my mother's uh, WhatsApp to send me a message, basically, um, saying that, yeah, if I come on this, my mom's not going to talk to me. That's what my mom said. Well, I don't know who sent me this thing. This is the thing that's still just like, what the fuck? Who sent me this? I doubt my mother would send that. But how's he got hold of my mum's phone and done that? I mean, it's just so well, he's weird. Not doing a the whole show thing today. was weird. He's not doing a show today. So yeah, he so I'm guessing he's probably at my mum's. Yeah, he's used the phone. Yeah, I, I think he he's got into a phone. And maybe he or Neela has, has sent the message. Because the, re- the wording is all weird as well. Like, my mother's an English teacher, so... Well, she was anyway, and she's extremely good at grammar and spelling and punctuation. And I noticed that the grammar and the punctuation was completely fucked. So it clearly wasn't her, unless she's got something like she's having a bad day or something. You know, really, I can't see that being my mum sending that. I think that was fabricated by them to make me scared to come on this program and, and blow him up for the creep that he is, you know? And I- he's scared. He's shaking his boots. He's like, oh, no, he's going to fucking actually... People are going to see, they're going to listen to this guy's voice and realize I am full of shit. I've got to stop this, you know, and that's what he's trying. But I don't give a fuck. He's not going to ruin my relationship with my mum. I'll call my mum and I'll, I'll tell her what happened, you know? So. And I see Paul in chat says, he says, it's no way it's it's my mom. He says, it's no way it's me. me. My mom. It can't be. Uh, it says, can't be. Someone married the phone. We tracked the number. <laughs> it's a known married number. Yeah, it's a, a different network. It's EE. Well, my mom's on um, O2, you know? So it's a bit strict. It's really fucked up what him and his gay ops have been up to to try and put me off. But it doesn't put me off. I'm not scared of his bullshit. Fuck him. He deserves everything he's getting, mate. And more. I'd say he deserves a prison sentence considering what he did to you. Well, I would agree. Definitely. With that. Honestly. Definitely, um, mate. But I, you know, I, um, it's unreal, uh, the links he's went to. And for people who don't know, you've been disconnected from all this. Like, you didn't even know about the last three or four years. Uh, I let of go of it all, mate. I was like, yes. you know what? I know what he's going to do. If I hang around any longer, he's going to just try and turn me into crap and everyone's going to turn against me. I thought, you know what? I'm out of this. Best thing you can do with Johnny is walk away. Honestly, ignore him, walk away. That's it. It's all you can do with people like him because sticking around, he'll just he'll 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 find some bullshit, some way to try and stick to you, and that's all he does. He's throwing crap at you until it sticks, you know, and that's that's just the way he operates. So I I think he's just poisonous. I don't, I don't like him. I stay the fuck away from him. I'm not afraid of him, but you know, I just don't need that kind of nasty negativity in my life. When you know, I'm I'm not a negative person. I try and get on my life and try and you know do my best. And I, I care about my family. I love my family. I even love him, even though he's my, he's a piece of shit. He's my brother. At the end of the day, I do love him to that extent. But I just think he's the most disturbed individual. And he really needs to either see a therapist or go to prison and see a therapist in there. <laughs> or something. You know? He needs something, some kind of, you know, intervention on his brain. Believe me, because it's not right what he does, man. It's something really not right. To, something needs to happen. Uh, and Definitely. Paul said the same thing. He's gone over the, he's gone too far now, especially with that attacking you. That was just, 
the well, last drawer in my story, opinion. You know, the, the, a woman, I don't, I don't know if you know everything about that. I said this again yesterday, but, you know, that thug Dan threw this woman who was trying to break it up oh, yeah. into the middle of the street, and she had a crack. Yeah, skull, hurting innocent and, victims, innocent yes, bystanders. Yes. Yeah, oh, they'll happily throw someone in that. Collateral damage, they don't give a fuck. You they know? laughed about it. Literally. Yeah, they'll see it as collateral damage. They won't care. They will see it they're as like, that. Oh, she shouldn't have been involved. She shouldn't they, have been they, they lack, it's fu- they thought it was They funny. lack empathy, you see. They're narcissists. They don't have the ability to feel what other persons can feel or even imagine how they feel. So they look at her crying. They think it's funny. They literally laughed at that on air, yes, yeah. and thought it was funny. It's not it's funny like, at all. She could have easily gotten abuse. killed, um, you know, either from it's, it's her head in the ground or she, there was oncoming traffic died. as well. But they wouldn't have given a fuck. No, they wouldn't have They cared. just wanted to prove their point. They wanted their video. They wanted their clout, you know? That's all they fucking care about. It's it's just maniacal, uh, honestly. Um but, the level uh, he'll go to to get clout is disgusting, man. Yeah, and I I, I, I talked about this. Now, none of this would be happening because you totally disconnected um, yep. from all this. Paul, in one tweet... Uh, you know, I disconnected so much. This motherfucker, when I was in hospital, he sent me a card saying, get well soon. And I was thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> I ain't heard from you in years, you little twat. And you want to send me that? Fuck off. I fucking burnt it when I got home. <laughs> I did. I literally set it on fire, man. Fuck him and his negative crap. I don't need it. He takes her money. And well, you know what he was trying to do? Fake, he was his dress. fake yeah, giving a fuck. He was he trying to rope you me. back in. That's he's, what he was he's trying to do. He's trying to make yeah. my mum think, you know, he did it through my mum. My mum brought it in. I'm there thinking, fucking sly little bastard. Try to get on my mum now. Yeah, why I'm you're actually my mom. weakest, you know, trying to, yeah, it's a common tactic, actually. Kiosk <clears> Man <throat> uh, with a super chat says, how dare you say Cog's marriage is fake? It's a give and take relationship. He takes her money and she <laughs> gives him the business end of her bad dragon strap-ons. Uh, but uh, that super chat there said, but, um, yeah. but th- this whole thing happened, I'll just explain this again, because for years... Cog has been using Paul's appearance to defend against his nonsery and say that that's proof that it, that that it didn't happen, right? Paul going on Paul's appearance. Show. Paul's appearance on his show, right? Like, um, oh, so oh, him coming there, him yeah, being yeah. on there, and so, yeah. cheerleading for five seconds. Yeah, for five seconds. It wasn't <laughs> even that much. I watched through it for the first time a couple weeks ago. And it's yeah. not really that much. But anyway, I, I watched through. He keeps reverting back to that because that's all he's yes. got. Yes. Like, you got to realize it's, it's, he is, he did it. It's true. You know, it's not bullshit. So it's so hard. You he, he can't fuck with the truth, mate. You can't. The truth comes out eventually. That's it. And for, for years, I, I just explain. I don't know if you know how all this happened. You might now since you talked to Paul some, but um, <clears throat> he's been using that for years to the point where his own audience members say, whoa, Cog's other brother came on and said this and that. And, uh, yeah. you know, it's clearly not true. Well, you know, Paul finally got tired of seeing it, not just Cog saying it, but his fans repeating it. He went on Twitter yeah. and said, hey, you know what? I don't speak to Cog. I don't want my name used. Yeah, don't uh, reference. Don't. Yeah. Well, don't you listen just, to him. Yeah. Stop, he's fucking... stop using my name, basically, yeah. to defend his bullshit. And, yeah, that's what he, he tries to drag anyone under the bus. Yes. He can. Or, or try and get anyone to kind of prove that he right. didn't do it. But like, what the hell difference it make if Paul said that or not? Like, it happened way before all that stuff, you know? I just had that on him, you know? And I really actually forgotten about it. You know, you get on with your life, and you're just like, oh, whatever, he's just a weird cunt. That's what he does, isn't it? You know? <laughs> I mean, I had some questionable girlfriends over the years, you know? So it's just like, to me, it was just another another questionable thing that he's done, you know? So I kind of got over it and didn't really care about it, to be honest. I was just kind of like moving on. But then when he started to fuck with me, I was just there like, what? You're going to mess with me knowing that I know all about you? Oh, well, mate, you're done for. So that's why I blew him up straight away as soon as I got the chance. Well, and it was a good call. Uh, but it was a yeah. ba- bad call for Cog because what happened was he immediately went – nuclear uh on paul yeah. uh and of you course. know started talking all this crazy shit and then that's how all this happened like i hadn't been able to get in contact with you for years uh yeah i had never spoken to paul in my life um like all this happened because cog couldn't just let it he could have just ignored it right <laughs> he can't just let shit go he yeah. can't it's really awkward 
And the thing is about it, like, is it's because it's true that he, he can't get it out of his head. And people will remind him of it every day now as well, which is great. I'm glad. I hope for four years he's been getting fucking drilled about it because he deserves it. I mean, you're going to go and do that stuff. And act like it ain't shit to me. And then I blow you up about it. And you want... You deserve everything you get. You deserve to get punished. You shouldn't be... You shouldn't be doing that. Especially when you're an adult. When you're over 20. I mean, fucking hell. Like, I'd understand if he was 16 or something. It makes well, sense yeah. then. You know, he's fucking... He's a grown adult. He should know better than to hook up with a 14-year-old and then try and use the excuse of, oh, I thought she was 18. That's what his excuse was. I mean, I thought eventually he would have actually come clean and said that, but he's not even done that. So I just don't know. It, to me, it's like he's in complete denial about it and uh, just wants to try and make out like I'm crazy and that Paul's now crazy as well. Even though Paul, you know, um, is denying it, as, uh, is saying it's true as well. Because considering he knows me and knows I don't chat shit, so don't. It's very hard for me to talk, to talk lies. I, I really... I don't really lie very well. I'm actually better at just, you know, straight up. I, I rather tell the truth because lies catch up with you, you know. And I'm not, you know, and it's just yeah. difficult for me in my brain. It's just very hard for me to just not be honest, you know. To just speak whatever is on your mind. Yeah, I understand what you mean. I'm not gonna. I, look, if I try to lie, you'd know. <laughs> That's how <laughs> crap I am at it. So I just, I choose the easier option, which is just be honest, tell the truth. And nothing can ever fuck with me now. <laughs> so it's great. It's a great way to be. Uh, and it'll always catch up to you, uh, even when you think it won't. Uh, you oh, know, yeah. Uh, coming out here, I look, I've made a mistake of lying myself before. Uh, yeah. You know, We've or, all uh, fucked up. But I'm not drinking it's or this or that, and it's like, okay, yeah. well, it'll, it'll catch up with you, even if you get away with it for a day or two or however long. Um, it'll catch up to the you. The thing is, like, it, does, like, it ruins your credibility. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Everyone fucks up. That's the thing about life. Yeah. It's like it's unbelievable to act like you've never fucked up, you know? So when you get someone like Johnny, it's like, well, this guy always acts like he can't do any wrong, and it's just unbelievable. You're just like, nah. It's, 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 it's actually impossible for a human to not make a mistake in life, right. you know? It's but the normal. thing is about him, he'll make mistakes, but he can't admit it. He can't go, oh, I fucked up. Sorry, you know? It's just not in his nature. He just can't do it. It's weird. It's everyone's crazy except Cog. Paul said. Oh, of course. That's, that's, that's the funniest thing. Cog's the rat eater. Everyone else is crazy, not me. <laughs> I'm just chew on the tail. You know. <laughs> Look at hell. It's a weird. It's, it's like I can't believe anyone believes that they think I'm crazy, considering the things he's done. I admitted to already. I mean, Probably. he's actually admitted to something like he's that. He's a proud rat eater. Not, I can't understand. That to me, it's freakish, man. It's like, wow. You have no shame, bro. And I don't actually think he has any shame. I don't think he does. I don't think he even feels bad about fucking that 14 year old. I'm sure he enjoyed every minute of it. Oh, he probably. Th wow. Oh, he did. I'm sure he, he thinks he about it. Quite he told often. me about it. He told me he enjoyed it. The fuck up. Eating rats is perfectly normal behavior. Yeah, I. Sp oh, yeah. Spite eating rats, too. I, I want to be clear. Um, Spitefully eating a rat as well. Like, not just I'm starving, <laughs> yeah. but. I, what? You don't want to be with me no more. Right, well, I'm eating your pets. <laughs> maybe the pat. Maybe he was just jealous of the rat. Maybe that she was spending more time with the rat than him. I was like, you know what? I can't have this. I've got to eat you. <sighs> <laughs> well, the rat was weirder. probably, you know, uh, had more of an emotional connection. With her, <laughs> the the rat was moving in. Yeah. <laughs> moving in, this girl. Hey, man, you can't do that. I'm going to eat you. <laughs> so fucking weird, man. <laughs> uh, disbelief in chat says, Mike is a better orator than Cog. Yeah, by far. I told him that last time we talked. Uh, audio. So. Yeah, well, yeah, I do a lot of audio now. Anyway, I do, I do spaces for a other things I'm not going to mention, but like, sure. yeah, well, I'm yeah, pretty cause... used to talking now. It's fairly easy now. I used to actually be a bit nervous. Like the first time I came on your thing, I was a bit nervous then. But now it's just, you know, it's just like having a phone call, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it's 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 so, yeah. it is. You can tell you're less nervous this time. Um, and it's yeah. it's funny because Cog did all this to himself, and all, he he, he could have just ignored all this. Um, never would have had Paul on. Never would have had you on. We hadn't talked. But if he years. ignores it, he's got no clout and he's got no 
That's true. Follow view, views, you see, and that's all he actually cares about is that getting views. He literally used me for views too. He said it to everyone. Well, it's always, he it's, owes it's, me money for that. It's <laughs> own family, though. Like, I mean, you know what I mean? I like, know. Um, it's, his, it's, it's cringe. Brothers. I mean, I don't know if you've ever heard of a guy called Devin Tracy, but I remember yes. he was saying about him, he was saying, it's so weird how he, like, he can talk all this stuff about political stuff, and sometimes he's right, but then he brings up his family, and it's just so cringe the way he talks about it. It's just like, yeah, he's right. He's damn right. It is cringe. Like, who would do this? Like, you've got a career. You, in, in you know talking about stuff like politics and stuff and then you're gonna just oh by the way I fell out my family uh, broke up my girlfriend gonna have a little cry now you know it's just all this weird shit it's just unnecessary and he could have just kept it off the air you know but nah he just uh, he likes to just let everyone know every single thing that's going on with all anyone who turns against him or anyone who doesn't like him you know yeah, yeah, and you know that's not a good way to be. I've made a mistake myself, and in, in that occasion here and there, right? Uh, yeah. And the more of your personal life you can keep off the air, the better. The better. Uh, particularly yeah. when you're somebody like Cog, um, you know, who just imagine all this started over over beats, right? Over beats. That's how it started. I mean, he was he was doing okay. And then he just decided to start going. I mean, I remember he had a problem with you as well. And I used to yes. sit there and say to him, like, what's your problem with Raph, though? He's a cool guy. What's the problem? And he'd be like, oh, I just did this and this. And then petty bullshit. And I'd be there like, yeah, but he's still not done anything, really. He's just, you know, and you now because he's taking a piss. But, but, but that makes sense. But all you have to do is ignore it if you really want it to actually a guy. But he can't do that. He has to feed right into it. He can't help himself. Well, well, and the thing is, and but, Paul talked about this yesterday. He used to talk about politics. He used to talk about. Um, they used to have some know, real shit stuff, to say. And then it just yeah. turned into, you know, what's Ethan Ralph doing drama. today? Yeah, like every mm-hmm. single day. I mean, I. Stalking Ralph. Yes, you know, basically. Literally, I swear this guy has Literally, done mate. He came to fucking Portugal. 500 is- shows or more on me. Probably more, honestly. Just like daily. And he, uh, I've seen him on his new videos, and he's always got you in the background. It's yeah. so cringe. It's like, man, bro, get over it. You know? Like, why can't you just get over the fact that you, you dissed him and you won? <laughs> you right? know what I mean? Plus, it's you like... kicked his ass. If it was any real man, he'd admit that. He'd be like, you know what? I bow up with gracefully, you know? You won. Let's, let's let bygones be bygones, and I'm going to move on with something new, you know? <laughs> well, you know, I've been that. more than willing he to do that, do that with him before, too, else. right? Like, it's like, let's just move on. Dude. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, but I know why he sticks onto it, because it's all he's got. Yes. He's literally, he's a clout chaser. He all he wants is drama, so he can continuously get views for it, and that's all it's about with him. He yes. tries to make, like use that attention, but he always does it in a negative way. That's why he's fucking up. Well, he pigeonholed himself uh, and ran yeah, off the people really who were there for the for the other content, and so now all he has are people who like are like deranged uh, about yeah. hating me. Sick and of so, fun. right? And so, and the, you know, he talks about, "Oh, I'm done with Ralph content now." All of a sudden, now that I'm you know completely blowing him out again, oh, uh, mm. what's Ralph doing? He's obsessed. This is a guy who's been talking about me every day for four fucking years. Uh, I know, uh, calling me obsessed because we're doing a couple shows on him. He's upset. You're yes. not. You, from what I've seen, I even said that. I said, nah, but Ralph just gets on with this shit. He doesn't bother you. He might talk about you every so often, but that's about. That's just because you're an easy target. <laughs> Seriously. Right. Yes, you make yourself right. like that. Well, and I said to him, I actually did try and like get through to him about you. And I was like, look, man, this guy's just doing his thing. Let him do his thing. He's a cool guy. I don't know why you don't try and make up with him or something, you know? But he's like, no, no, fuck him. Blah, 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 you know? And I was just like, okay, mate, you know? If you want to stay in the world of negativity for your whole life, continue, you know? But uh, I, I I, wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Well, Even if I ever had a problem with you, Rob, pro- I'm one of these guys, you know, a few weeks later, I'll get over it and be like, you know what, I'm a dick, sorry. Let's make up, you know? Yeah. Let's have a drink. <laughs> Plus, it's like, he... He used to have a bigger show, like with with more people there. Oh, I remember it. he had like 50K followers at one point, and he was doing yeah. really well. Yeah, and, and I was proud of him at the time, you know. And, he, and then he just switched up. It's ever since he switched on me. I mean, it was already started with you, and then he turned on his own brother. 
who we've been working with as well on music and bigging up all week, you know. And then everyone started to see his true colors, you know. They saw him for what he was. Well, it's like if this guy and, turned um, his own brother. Um, yeah. You know, what, and at the time, you... people sided with him because he had more, he had my brother, other brother there kind of backing him up. But as soon as Paul realized what was going on, uh, it's all gone pear shaped, hasn't it? He's got nobody supporting him now except for his six months, you know? Yeah, and he's. Um, down he's, to uh, 40 viewers and just. His, his wife, there. apparently. Yeah, his <laughs> wife, yeah. Uh, I wonder if she makes him wear the turban uh, when he's off. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, nah, little, I, little bit. I, I, he's got rings on, though, that look like female rings. So, yeah, no, it's that. I've seen that. They're yeah. really girly. Like, and I doubt it's a real diamond. If That's it is, not. then wow. Wow, he's living it all bling bling. But, man, I doubt he could go out the house with that without getting robbed. You know? <laughs> Where he so, lives, I'm sure head. he puts them in his pocket when he's walking around. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know he'd get jacked, mate. He would. It's like, fucking hell, you can't walk around with that kind of gold in, in the areas that he lives in. You just can't. No, definitely not caught. So. Uh, it's a matter of time before he gets robbed of those as well. They would but like, that's just that's, that's just the future of, of Cog. You just know is some terrible shit's gonna happen, man. You just know he's always gonna fuck it up. But you I know, know he's gonna fuck up his relationship with her. He's gonna fuck up his relationship with Dan, and it, and it'll be all their fault. By the way, yes, yeah, so that's what he'll say. <laughs> That's, that's exactly what I'll say. And, <laughs> you know, it's funny that you traced it. Um, you you traced it back to his fallout with you, but that's really when his decline like completely started. Uh, because yeah. then I had you on the show, uh, yeah. and that just melted his mind. Right? The, that, that he I, couldn't that, handle that. Yeah, he couldn't handle that. Then and I was, was really nervous. Says, I really didn't say that much. I just remember yes. being pissed off because he broke my finger, and I was just like so mad. And I just thought, yeah, I've got to say something about this prick. And I'm not even, I wasn't even the, I was the kind of guy to get online and chat, you know? So to me, it took a lot for me to even come on and say all that stuff, you know? And actually fucking, you know, dob him in for his dirty behavior. Well, but if, I did it, and I, after I did it, I had to go in the bathroom, throw up a little bit, and then, you know, I was okay. <laughs> but, but yeah, and you know, yeah. um, that, but that's the trajectory, though. Ever since he did that, you know, it's just been downhill. And then, you know, Ralph content 24-7. He's obsessed that I had you on. Yep. Um, he He's talking crazy shit about Paul even today. It's like, man, just take the L. Uh, and it, and take the on. L, bro. Just you take fucked the L, up. Dude. You fucked Why up. Why can't you just say that? You know, it'd be a bigger man if you could do that. It would. He might save some face if he just said, he you know what, come, right, yeah. fine. If he was You're all right, and I'm a fuck up. Yes. <laughs> if he said that, or he could just come out and say, you know what, uh, me and my brothers don't see eye to eye anymore, whatever, I'm letting well, I'm not going to talk about it yeah, anymore. I'm not going to talk about yeah. it anymore, I'm going to move on. Grow up and move on. But he you know? won't. He won't do He won't, because it's clout, and it's money to him. He'll, he'll get donations out of people that I don't even believe he gets. I think that's all just a scam. I think he puts up pictures of donations, but He's not really getting them donations. That's just to make other people think, ooh, donations, right? Well, I better get in on that too. You yeah, know? Uh, there's been a lot of speculation so, on that, but I, I, think I don't know. Scam, I don't mate. think this past I've couple I've seen plenty weeks, of scams, <laughs> and I know that's one. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't um, – I don't think the last two weeks have helped him any. Uh, let's just put it that way. Uh, oh, no. If he's looking for clout. Um, I'm, I'm looking through my list here. I mean, I feel like we hit it all. And by the way, you know, Mike, I, I was the one who wanted this interview, right? Like he wasn't begging, yeah. begging to come on the show. Uh, and same with Paul. Uh, and we talked about no, this I with him yesterday, uh, yeah. you know, where it was like, no, you know what? I'll come on if Cog, you know, starts going I mean, I was wild. thinking the other day, I was, a little, I, I said to Paul, I was like, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I just don't like talking about it. I hate thinking about what he does. It's, I just don't even like thinking about him in general. So now I've got to dig it all up again. But then when he sent me that message this morning, oh, well, black that message through my mum's WhatsApp. I, uh, that's when I was just like, right, I'm going on there now. <laughs> I've got to tell him, I've got to tell people. Cause he's just, he's, he's just taking it to another level now. And like he's bringing my mother into it. Like you the know, dirtiest thing could possibly that do. It's the lowest still low, mate. Other than it fucking is. children. And my mother's not well at the moment either. She's not well at the moment, by the way. She's having headaches and stuff. So, well, I hate to like, hear 
it's not good, man. It's not good that he's doing this while she's not well. We're not doing it in general. It's bad, but like, and she's not well as well. Yet again, taking advantage of vulnerable people who are not well. This is just what he does, man. And it's sad. It really makes me mad. Now let but, me uh, uh, let me ask I you. I can't rise to it too much. I'll fucking kill him, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I, I know you were conflicted a little bit about coming on, and so, and so was Paul. And Paul was like, "Well, I'll do it, but let me see. You know, if he does what I think he's gonna do, and you know, keeps attacking, he and he did." He did. All he had to do was keep his mouth shut. None of this would have happened. We wouldn't yep. be going over all this stuff again. The the notary and, and all this stuff, which has been beyond proven beyond a doubt, uh, in my view, yep. uh, at this point. Uh, and you've been vindicated after years of him vilifying you, uh, I know. Which, which I hope feels good. Um, oh, it does. It feels good. Finally, people yes. are seeing the truth. I mean, at first I felt like, oh, man, these guys are all completely brainwashed you know no one's gonna listen so i just got out of it i thought forget it you know you guys believe what you want but i said what i said and it wasn't a lie so well it's, uh, it's, it's up been, to people what they decide isn't it and the, the people have decided the people so. have decided uh and when it came out yeah i i you know i, I think there were some people who didn't buy it or you know thought yeah, you were always gonna it be. Up. but uh at this point i i would say the overwhelming majority of people uh see it as the truth that it is um, yeah, and I, I say uh, I see in chat. Um, Paul says he will try to milk this. He should just walk away. Well, yeah, he should just walk away. He, oh, you'll be making another show about this, bro. It'll be his next show will be like, oh, right, well, what he said was blah blah blah, and he'll just dig up other things about my history that he's making up or whatever. It's anything to attack me, basically, he's gonna do. I bet you. it's so predictable. Just, just know what he's going to do. Just take the owl, Cog, and go do it, man. Either, either leave the internet or just... He talks about changing up his show, and he's not going to do Ralph drama anymore, and he's not going to do this and that, and, he, you know, yeah. of course he's... But he's short-lived, yes. and then he goes and does it again. <laughs> yes, like two days later, literally, he's reading my tweets out, or he had that just complete meltdown... Uh, about yeah. Paul, which just guaranteed that Paul's going to come on funny. the show and, and you know, spill it all It did the make tea. me laugh. I was ripping into Paul. And this is Paul who was pushing, who was propping up as, look, see, this is my proof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then well, all of a sudden he, tur he turned on him. Yeah, yeah. This this was yeah. pious Paul for many years. Uh, yeah. And it turns out behind the scenes, of course, I didn't know this, but they hadn't been talking for years. Right, no. they, they had had a falling out, and he was still using that on air as as proof. Right, like oh, that's crazy. Was... Even when he's not mates with him, yes. that's crazy. Yes. No way. Even when they weren't mates, yes, he was still using. He's got all he's got though. You got to realize that's it. That's all he's got to, as his defense. <laughs> Everything else is pointing directly at the truth. That the truth is, yes, he did sleep with a fourteen year old who he claims he thought was eighteen. And uh, and he enjoyed it. He told me so. You know, what a disgusting guy. It doesn't really get much worse than that. Uh, I'd have to say. And I'm glad you've been vindicated. Are there any other stories that that you can <laughs> think of? Uh, uh, I, I can't I know, think. I know of... that's putting you on the spot, but it's, just, I, but... just any here at the end. I'm, I'm not going to keep you all day, but um, I think I've said most of the things I can actually got. I've got to memory. Yeah. Yeah. So, but if I come up, if I find any more, if I think of anything else that he's done, I, well, I'll definitely, you know, I'll definitely send you a message. <laughs> definitely do that. But I think I've said a few things today that I've not mentioned you did, before. You did, you did drop a few new nuggets that I hadn't heard before, for sure. Like that, like robbing from me when he Stealing is, Stealing your when stash I was unwell. while you're fucking sick is yeah. unreal. Uh, but sounds just And then like apparently that. he took a lot of these, these things I was selling and he did, as an overdose, ended up in hospital and I got in trouble for that as well. So oh, he's just an parents. idiot. He like yeah. it's just an absolute retard. When it comes down to life in general. He just doesn't know how to function. So it's pretty sad. But um, pretty I, sad. I don't care anymore. I, I've, I've stopped giving a fuck about what he does. Um, I just hope he gets off the internet. I really, I really thought he would finally get off the internet one day. I thought he might finally get married to someone or something, and then no longer do this. But I guess he thinks he's got a career in it or something. I don't know. Well, now, you know, his big idea now, I'll tell you this before before we wrap fully, uh, he, he, he did a fundraiser for 
um, a RoboCop helmet where he okay. was going to wear the RoboCop helmet. He was going to be RoboCog, and he was going to do, oh, his, right. do his streams okay. with the RoboCop helmet <laughs> on. I'm now it turns idiot. out, by the way, it turns out he scammed his fans, and he's getting a yeah. tattoo today. Oh, yeah, he did a bit of crowdfunding, basically, yeah, for yeah. himself. So now he's <laughs> going to get a tattoo instead and make his own yeah. RoboCog helmet oh, um can you imagine anything goofier oh, imagine if i decided to sit here and all of a sudden start wearing ro a robocop helmet I, while i, I, I just thought i'm like who the hell gave him money for this <laughs> i can't Are you understand stupid? it i i don't plus how would that help your show other than make you just look like an amazing idiot, <laughs> you look like right? a child yes. you know it's like have you grown up yet mate you're wearing robocop helmet we well, damn near 40 years old and it's like i remember when he went to america though and he put on that Stock on his face, and he just looked yeah. like a weird cunt. I was just like, "What are you doing? Like, you could have got any other mask, and you decided to put like a it looked like a condom on his face. It was just like, we what the not. fuck? Yeah, it was the oddest thing I ever seen. That. But, I don't know. Um, I just don't. Know. I just well, now he's robocopping. Yeah, now he's robocopping, and I don't know how <laughs> that's going to help his show. Okay, uh, robocop. <laughs> even though he's a criminal and he's uh, wanted by the Portugal police, literally. Like, you know, he literally is. Yes. But he's RoboCop. Yeah, he, I mean. he won't be going back to Portugal, I can tell you that, because there actually is a warrant out on him and Dan he's fucking, in Portugal. He's RoboCriminal. That's what he is. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just saw that, and I thought that was the most cringe thing I could ever possibly think of. Like, what Definitely the fuck? cringe. Uh, Wear the turban if you're gonna wear anything. Uh, you know what? That might be. A yeah, good I know. Idea. Yeah, put the turban on. Yeah, uh, show, show that you're really down with the Hindus. You know, I mean, come on, you're married to one. Why not? Yeah. In fact, I don't know why he's not wearing that every day. He should be like, you know, showing how much he loves his wife, right? So come on, I see it. Fuck the Robocop. We want to see you wear a turban. Exactly. Wear the <laughs> turban. And then let me ask you this. Um, one more thing I did think of. His obsession with a, with America. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I noticed he's, he's, he's got the American flag in yes. the back of his picture while he's in England. It makes no sense. No. It's like, I don't understand a British flag being there, but sure. an American one? What? And Americans don't even like you from what I know. <laughs> you didn't get as much of a good reception going there. So, <laughs> to me, it's just weird. I don't know what his obsession with America is. Um, I doubt he'll ever be going back. So it's just weird. It is weird that I don't understand yeah. it at all. And most of the Englishmen I talk to are proud of being English, right? Like yeah. they don't. Uh, and you'd have the Union Jack, at yeah, least. Exactly. At least the Union Jack, or the St. George's, for that matter. But like, at least yeah, the yeah. Union Even Jack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at least at least the Union Jack. Like I, I don't know. I, it's uh, unreal it, to me how he does that. I, I've always found that. Bizarre. I mean, when I saw it on his video, I really thought it looked like you know the stripes on KFC or like <laughs> you know crunchy fried chicken. That's what it looks like in the background. I was like, is he in a restaurant? And I realized no, it's an American flag. Yes, <laughs> he just can't see the stars. He's got it sideways well, that's another as thing, well. Because it's, really it's sideways, yes, it's not hung. Pro <laughs> it's not hung properly. That's not how you're supposed to hang the American flag. If you know so anything, actually disrespecting the flag. He literally is. By the yeah. way, in all seriousness, that is like terrible flag etiquette. Yeah. You're not supposed to. What's he gonna do? Burn it? Like you know, what I mean? <laughs> fuck it out. <laughs> It's actually not supposed to be hung that way, and you can't even – if you didn't know what it was, you're like, wait, what is that? Or, like, you can't even see the stars on it, like you said. Exactly. Um, it's dumb. It's dumb, like everything he does. But, but like he's, he, he gets these obsessions, like he's got these Robocop helmets. It's the same thing. He'll get fix, fixated on something, and he just dives right in and goes crazy on it. And he doesn't care how cringe it looks. He thinks that everyone else is being weird. It's like, no, you're just doing stupid shit. Yeah, <laughs> that just <laughs> Just makes people laugh at you. I mean, he's, he's a he's a lol cow. You know, you could, you could laugh at this guy forever. You know, so I guess that's what his followers are. I think there are a lot of them who are just laughing at. Him. I think so. That's too. All a lot of them honestly are mentally ill. Uh, no, and, I'm not surprised. And they're like, <laughs> you know, kind of schizo type people. And, yeah, vulnerable and, people. Yes, and <laughs> vulnerable people. A lot of those people don't even have the money to give, and they're giving him money. And wow. One of his to top stop. guys was like homeless, literally, and still giving Cog all this money. And it's like, look, guys, wow. if you're homeless, don't send me money. That's like, really save, stupid. Save your money. Um, but yeah, definitely don't go give it to him because all he's going to do is spend it on weed. 
you know, and that's it. <laughs> and then stupid things like a Robocop helmet, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Giving him money is like, he's literally throwing your money out the window. You might as well just throw it out the window. That's the same thing. That's the same thing that Paul said yesterday. I mean, you might as well light your money on fire, is what I yeah. said. Uh, like, You'll never see it again. No refund. <laughs> no no refund. Cox famously said that. Famously said that. I can't um, believe he said it. Like, yeah. how? <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck me, man. Like, the lack of self awareness. I mean, Jesus. When, when are you going to realize, like, that is not right? No matter what happens, if somebody sends you a, a donation too much, you have to send it back. Well, you have yeah, to. You have to. Um, and, you know, I, I felt so bad for that guy. I guess. But I he's should. probably just going to spend it on more Hugo Boss, you know? So, oh well. Oh well. Get, get to see him trying to flex. It's really funny. Now, would you like to make any predictions for Cog here at the end? How you think things are going to go? Will he wake up after this, maybe? And uh, it No, doesn't, doesn't seem he'll like never it. wake up. Uh, unfortunately, he will never wake up to it because obviously he's, he's on defense mode, so he's never going to wake up to it. He's just going to go double down on the same old bullshit. That's what he's going to do. Well, that's what I think too. But uh, I was just curious what you might think. And then also, I want to thank you for your time here today. You're very generous yeah, with it. Uh, no worries, man. I, I appreciate you, man. Yeah, and thank you for coming. It was good talking to you again. I had a lot of fun talking to you last time. I had a lot of fun talking to you this time. Uh, yeah, I think you're fun. Well, yeah, I'll come on again if you want. Anytime, sure. just let me know. Yeah, definitely. If, if he does anything else stupid, I'll be right back on. Yes, <laughs> I would love that. It. I would love that actually. <laughs> Literally, you're one of the most requested guests to come back on the show, and wow. <laughs> I was like, "Man, I never like I lost contact with you." And I said, "Well, I can't get a hold of him." And I reached out to some. People I, I just deleted it all. Yeah, you just yeah. deleted. Yeah, there was, it was all gone. I had people looking for you too. Like, not. I, like, I deleted it all. I changed way, the name but... and everything. I just didn't want any association. I don't want him knowing anything about me. I just, I just, he's one of the people you got to really cut him out of your life. Or he'll stalk your life and he'll ruin oh, it. Me, or try to at least. Believe me, I know. So. Uh, yeah, he's really a he's a good stalker. That's one thing I will. Oh man, I'll give him credit. Incredible. For yeah, he's it's a, been, you know, he's incredible. I wish you could stalking. focus that energy in something else. You know, it'd be better. Yeah, but like a job. You won't. Um, but, yeah, uh, like getting a job. <laughs> <laughs> God. It's not even that difficult, man. Franco says, Consider he's living off someone else right now. If he got a yeah. job, it would all be his money. So it's like, give it away. Just do it. <laughs> sure. Uh, I see. Uh, oh, and Paul says it's a memento of his cuckoldry of that flag. Yeah, I think you're right. We talked yeah, about that definitely. A bit yesterday. Uh, Franco <laughs> says, Mike W., he should be a kill stream regular. I agree with that. Definitely. I would love to have you back, sir. Uh, anything you want to say here at the end? Um, no, it's just been a pleasure chatting to you. And if you want me back on, I'm, I'm more than happy to come back on. And um, if Johnny's listening out there, quit fucking with my mother. I'm coming for you, motherfucker. Don't fuck with my mother ever again. Okay? Right, that's it. That's all I've got to say to him. But, uh, Thank but you, yeah, Mike. it's been a great time. I've enjoyed it. And... Yeah, I hope you have a good day. I hope you And uh, yeah, let me know if you need me on again. I will, and I will hit you back up on that for sure. So thank you for the offer. <laughs> and thank you for coming yeah, out no today. Problem, man. And enjoy the rest of your evening uh, there you too, man. in uh, England, man. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you. Take care, man. I'll see you later. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow, there was Mike here. Live on the kill stream.